Alright, the first thing we're going to do is you see I removed my alternator and all the mounts that hold the alternator on there and I've got my radiator removed in order for me to get to the freeze plug on this side of the front of the head. Now you're probably wondering, Rex, why is there a freeze plug that looks brand new into this old raggedy engine? Well, that's because somebody I knew took it to a mechanic shop, had these freeze plugs put in. They're kind of the crap generic freeze plugs. But apparently what they understood is the only ones that they could get. They're too damn thin and they don't seal right. As you can see, there's a little bit of moisture down right here where they've been leak slowly leaking. See, they took my fingers wet. So we're going to knock them out and put some new ones in, the uh, correct steel cup uh, freeze plugs. Alright, so we got a good angle on the freeze plug. All you basically need to do is take a screwdriver or blunt object of this sort, and you line it up to one edge of the, of the freeze plug, and you hit the end of the hammer. Your fan will usually have one offset blade in order to give you room to do this. So, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, my fan's kind of dry right, looks like it's about to go. And then you basically just want to hit the one side of it with the hammer to knock it in. And it's okay if you knock it inside because the sheer fact of the matter is you're going to have to pull it out with a pair of channel locks. There. Now that freeze plug's knocked out. I got a lot of debris in this engine, but that's alright. I'm selling this piece of junk. That's basically the rust right there off in the inside of the motor. It's running through the whole motor. This thing needs a serious flushing. Now that you've got your freeze plug knocked out loose, you want to reach in here, a pair of vice grips or something, and you're going to grab the edge of it. Put, make sure you rotate it around to where you can get the edge, to the edge of it somehow beforehand. There we go. Grab it with your vice or your channel locks, and you're going to want to pull it out just like so. All right. Well, if you want to at this opportunity, do like me. See if you can't just take some of this rust and just scoot it on down the line. Scoop as much of it out as you can. We're going to have to wipe that sealed, that polished surface and make sure we get a good seal when we put the new ones in. Alright, so we got our new freeze plug out. The, uh, see that? The other one was uh, brass. This one's steel, so it won't have as much expansion or shrinkage with the change of temperature. And you're probably going to want to use at least a 23 millimeter socket and a bit of an old extension unless if you don't have a bearing press we kind of ghetto around here so we just make a lot of things up as we go as far as the uh, use of tools go if you properly abuse your tools they'll be alright so what you're going to do is pre-fit you want to make sure this thing goes in as even as possible it's uh, definitely important that it goes in even for the sheer fact that it doesn't go in even it won't create a good seal and you'll just be double working yourself when you got to come back and do what I'm doing right now. And it replaces Mama Jama. So you see, we just got started. At this point, I'm going to take a little tap with the hammer around the lip of it that I can get to. Just kind of finish pressing it in there a little easily. Alright, now we're going to get back to our press, our homemade press, which is the 23 on the extension, and we're going to go ahead and finish tapping her in there the rest of the way. Let me take this moment and go ahead and see which how far in I'm at and double check myself. And there's your change freeze plug. You just put your alternator mounts back on and cover it all back up again with all the mumbo jumbo that needs to run the rest of your vehicle.